Welcome back everyone. Welcome back to our everyday living. I've actually been loading this afternoon. Hopefully it's all going to be going as um, heavy melting steel, HMS. Um, so let's turn the camera around and see what we got. I've got the car load so I'll take you over and do that. Uh, I'll show you that. And I've also got to take off the crane because the trail is just a little bit heavy and you'll see why so this is what we got i'm hoping that the bathtub will go as hms heavy melting steel um i've got a lot of cast iron stuff in here and that sort of thing so that should actually technically go as heavy melting steel i'm going to try and do it that way instead of in size because they can just lift the whole thing off and weigh it that way ah uh, we got another press we have another press put on just got to tie it all down on this load here on the ute so um and i've also got the piano pieces hopefully we can get them as hms as well so i'll take you over to the trailer and um yeah i'll show you what we got over there so what we have got on the trailer is another printing press i thought it better off taking taking them over getting rid of them no point hanging on to both of them. I've already taken over one. I'm hoping all of this stuff here goes through as HMS. It's pretty thick steel, pretty thick gauge. So I'm hoping it'll go through. There's some more over here. I didn't put that on video, but I picked it up not long ago. And um, yeah, got to take our good old crane off here and uh, lighten the drawbar up a bit. That's about an extra 100 kilos just in that crane. So if we can lighten that up, that's better for us. I don't need to tie nothing down because she's all done. I've done a crisscross strap in the front here for the press. So she's not going to go backwards. Um, I've done the same in the back. So if anyone's wondering how I've tied this in, I've crisscrossed it across the back. Not a real strong strap, but it'll do for if I slam the brakes on and it tries to go forward. It may break the strap. But we have all of this steel, like that's stopping it there. Uh, we've also got a stop mark here, up in there. So, yeah, I don't think it's going to go forward. If anything, it'll probably want to come back, which I've got a decent strap on the front anyway. So I'm just hoping all of this extra stuff here goes as HMS. Better put that down. It's only going to fall down anyway. So, yeah, we'll get to the scrapyard see what we're going to get out of all of this. Better find out where they want us. Where do you want me? What do you got? Steel? <laughs> uh, oh, oh, I'm hoping it's uh, HMS. Uh, uh. <laughs> Come around on the bridge and we'll check it out. Two what is it? Two presses? Two presses and I've got some heavy stuff there. Yeah, well, I can honestly tell you your trailer's overloaded. Oh, we know that. Don't worry about that. I was going to take the crane off, but I thought, nah, bugger it, I'll leave it on there. I've got another job to do when I get home. So I thought I'd leave it on. Hey, all this, front and loader. <laughs> but yeah, I, I thought that might go as HMS, I don't know. It's fairly heavy grade. Yes, no? You tell me. It's all clean. With the big machines, is. Oh, yeah, no, you no, give, no. you give, you go, give me H. They give me HMS last time. Yeah, yeah, yeah no. Wasn't here, don't <laughs> <laughs> He's telling me he's going to give it to me now, so. <laughs> yeah, but don't say, oh, they did it last time, because he wasn't here. <laughs> <laughs> he was out, out some some more stuff. No, he wasn't. He was on. Uh, like and that's all, all good as HMS. Yeah. Yeah. He was I thought I'd put it in the bathtub, yeah, and I brought the old. Else. Yeah, I brought the old piano stuff too, so. Yeah, I got them along. <laughs> I got them along. Since you up. Hey, I, I picked them up, you know. <laughs> there was one that was working apparently, but um, yeah, he didn't want to get it working, so he palmed them off onto me. 
So I'll go around on the way bridge. Yeah. Well, you reckon you'd be five and a half tonne or Oh, actually, just the steel alone, probably 2.8. That's just me, no. Probably only need the forklift to get it off, wouldn't you? Yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if I'll be about right on the 2.8. I reckon I'll be pretty close. Get my tub of lard out of it. That way they haven't got that on there. Dear, oh dear, 6.18, eyes oh, heavy. <laughs> Didn't feel it coming over, you know. So, where do you want me, over there? Yeah, I guess he's just gonna rip it off of yesterday. Yeah, fair enough. No worries. That is, but that's the heaviest I've been, I reckon. <laughs> doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't look that heavy, eh? No! Oh, well you take an extra 100 kilos off of that crane. Ah, yep. Yeah. And that's why I was, I was going to take it off, but I didn't take it off because I've got another job to do on the way home. Blah, blah, blah. But bugger it. <laughs> Put my tub of lard on there. There's another 7 kilos. <laughs> One strap. Let him do what he's got to do. You do that, I'm going to do this. You get it off of that? Mm. Well, it's up to you. Yeah. That's over there, that one's there. They're not the best of straps, but they've done the job. It's the thing, as long as they do the job. Open there yet, but I don't do this one. What have I done here? Geez, I really tied that up, didn't I? Didn't break. Hasn't moved much.
Vende o pênis. Não tem que se preocupar muito. Fucking handle it. That'd be over a ton. I didn't weigh it. I just got one strap to undo and you can take it out. Um, I don't know how you're gonna do those because there's I packed them in by hand. I have got some there that I can probably handle out myself if you want. It's up to you. Because if you want me to back up so I can. Alright. Yep, 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 yep. Well, that's the thing, you might not with that. But if you can lift the truck chassis with that, you should be able to lift that. Sweet as. We can go for your life on the trailer. Got the handbrake on. Yeah, handbrake's on. Just sit these on there. Can be a cut of a thing. <laughs> you ain't got the grab power. No use having the handbrake on. Oh, you got it! <laughs> That's all right. That's it, bro. <laughs> he got it. He got it. <laughs> I'll be able to get this one then. Hey, using it over there. <laughs> go for your life, bro. I can't get that one. Oh, there we go. Didn't think I'd be able to get that one undone. We got it. We got it. Yes, yeah, so that's all going on. I hate mess. We good. Ooh, yeah. All untied, he can take whatever he wants to take, yeah. I 
Maybe we can get gloves out just in case we can do some handling. Do 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 those two here. Yep, yeah, up you go. Is that easier? <laughs> There's some homing stuff in amongst this, I tell ya. Probably 90 kilos there. It's a guess. Put more there now. Keep going up. Oh, you got it. <clears throat> right. 
Oh, you can't take that off, are you? Yeah. Yeah, just squeeze it together, bro. Just squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Because it's got the lips out the side. Keep squeezing. Now go straight up. Yeah, spread it apart a bit. That's it. Now lift. Because you don't want it toppling out. Stand over the sideline here. Stay right out of the road. Oh, look at that come up. You want me to hold that up? That's the way. You want me to swing it around or? Oh, one by one. I had to when I was loading it. Hang on, hang on. What about if you go from that end? They still haven't got their rotisserie crabber. Yeah, you should get it there. <laughs> Throwing it on the wrong shit. They're coming down. Yeah. Come that way. It's all yours. He got it. Oh, I broke one piece off. She's definitely cast iron anyway. All right. Going way in. It's only paper. Right, I'm going to throw this over here. Love it when it's a neat load.
like that sign on his windscreen. Shed life. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a real good one, that one. Shed life. Right. Back to our normal weight. I think it <laughs> yep, back to our normal weight, 2.64. <laughs> That's a better weight, 2.64. <laughs> what have we got in here? Oh, yeah, press the seal. Gee, she's pretty empty in here. Having a good clean up. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so tape, so oh, fair enough, yep. So go, so go. Nice location for the day. We'll be heading back to the scrapyard again. Got it all loaded, as much as I can get on. Got more to pick up here. We've got batteries and God knows what. So at the moment, I've got a motor to put on. It's way over here. Going to use the winch and my crane got a fairly long rope and if I run out of this at least it's a fairly long rope on that that's good um, at least I've got a chain I can hook it up with so this going right around here oh that's the end of our line that's got some weight in that okay we go there How the hell am I going to do that? Any starter motor on it? No starter motor, it's just gone. Okay, so we go this one to there. That'll do. That up and around that. Right, and that'll do the trick. It'll do the trick nicely. Right, go back to our winch. Whew. That's about, oh, I don't know. I don't know how far that would be away. You're probably looking, oh, good 30 metres away. Anyway, let's uh, get up here. Yeah, we're on the maximum part of our rope here. Okay, where's our control? No heavy lifting with this thing. Here we go. Should have the jack underneath it, but it's doing all right. It'll get to here and then it'll just lift it up. Enough weight. There's enough weight on the trailer not to worry about. Get our strap ready. Now put it in that hole. Brake drum over there too. I have to remember that when I come back. I've got a pile, got a pile over here. I've got to come back to. Makes light work, doesn't it? <laughs> A 
battery must be getting a bit flat. <laughs> it's almost there. Making a decent load out of it. Make a decent load out of it. That's it. Let it down into the hole. Come on, get in there. Get in there. Don't want it to leave it up like that. Truth. I might put the, the pivot point at the back. Oops. Come down, we caught in the nut hole there. Give myself some more rope. Wrong way. I always forget which way to go. I tell you what, without this I'd be buggered. The old winch. Winching crane. I just want that back piece to go in. Here we go. Go down like that. That's pretty secure in there. Yeah. It's only going to fall further. Right, that's done. Tie it down and hit the road. But yeah, I'll show you what we got on the on the vehicle very shortly. Um, you've probably seen a little bit of it anyway. We've got a whole heap of corrugated iron and all that sort of thing. So, am I going to get that out of there without catching that down through there? Yeah, that'll come out. There we go. So simple of an idea that. Loving it. I wouldn't wouldn't be able to do without it now. Imagine trying to lift this motor on your own. Hell no. Right. So let that come down. So far, I'll show you what we got on the back. Right, like I was saying, we've got a bed head, a bit of steel, corrugated iron, it's all strapped down. Some sort of cage affair on, on dollies. They're not bad casters, actually. It wheeled across the grass, okay. So, um, yeah, I've left enough turning space so that the crane doesn't touch each side. Um, I did fold a fair bit in half because they were extra long. I couldn't fit it on the trailer, couldn't fit it up here. It was the full length of the vehicle, actually, so I just bent it in half tied it down we've got a bit of steel in there as well ordinary steel so i reckon this will all go as pressing steel i will get the waist levy but there's not much i can do about that it's the way of the world you want to do scrap metal you've got to be prepared to pay for the waist levy especially here in australia but anyway um a lot of scrap yards do have a waste levy some of them just don't but anyway we'll get to and get back to the scrap yard with this Ooh, ooh, we got a car in front of us. Where are you going, bro? Go right around. You're going out. <laughs> I know where to go anyway. Ooh. I need to empty some bins. On back, boys. <laughs> Let's go and weigh in. It's going to be interesting. Find out how much we actually weigh. With this lot. Be interesting, very interesting. Get my tub of lard off here. That was a quick three weeks, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, I'm doing back here. 
This was the load I had to pick up. Oh, that's a neat four ton. That's the lightest I've ever been. So I think that puts us down at about 1.4 ton. I don't know where he's gonna get me to go. I'll go right back here. See what he's going to do. I might da 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 da. Go this way. Gonna jack off the trailer so we can scratch it out. Anyway, whoa. See, we are there. Have a look. Yeah, I can't go any further there. Well, um, keep it straight, I reckon. Go there, you can drag it out from that, I reckon. Get it untied. Blah blah blah, all on the other side. They're all on the other side. I haven't had time retighten everything to re at all coming back. It's damn good. We still got a fair bit to pick up, but uh, I probably won't get that on camera. We'll get this done this afternoon and um, yeah, we'll call it it for the day, I reckon. Two runs in one day. Pretty good, I reckon. Do 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 do. Where's that toy? Didn't bother doing me fancy rolly rolly on these. Just done it the quick way because wanted to get back here. That way I can get back and unload. Load the rest of it, not unload the rest. Load the rest. And then head home. And we'll find out how, how much we actually got in dollars. That'll be good been a good day damn good day right that's ready to rock and roll when he wants it he can do what he wants when he wants however he wants it's there ready to roll he can play it scrape it whatever he wants to do Open the tar board. <laughs> Loves his excavator. over the top of the battery oh come back here bottle been picking a few bottles up not many not today anyway round and round and round we go
Okay, this way, shorter. Get it all put away before he starts. Sweet. Stand back and watch. I might grab the gloves out anyway. the same, just a different colour. Yeah, they're both bloody same. Same hand. There you go those two. That is that one. Those two. <laughs> I'll get it right in a minute. I think. Yeah, those two. That's the go. Throw it. It's up there. They gotta get an empty bin for all of that stuff. That'll take up probably one full bin. Do you want me to back that in? So that way you can scrape it out? I'll see what he does. Do you? I didn't see that one. Now she's good. <laughs> I forgot that one. I actually forgot that one. <laughs> That's why it wasn't coming. <laughs> didn't break it. Which is funny enough. For me it's funny enough. 
That's the go, pull it all out. Yeah, it didn't break it. It's all right. I forgot that one. <laughs> you mean just for your car? Nah! <laughs> I don't want it! You can have it! Start unloading some of this stuff instead of standing around watching you. There we go. Get it off the gas. Sweep it out. Give me a turn around. Yeah. I'll get that first. Summer. I'm a summer, didn't you know the weather? Oh, you're a <laughs> <laughs> Why had you work that out? It's 
Sorry? You reckon Jerry's uncle? Whatever. You're talking about James. <laughs> he lives over here. Yeah. yeah, that's the go. All right, I'll pack park that way. You beat for me? Boy, you almost up there. You're putting it there. Oh dear. Don't know where he's going. We don't want another incident like last time, eh? No. Well, you can see the damage there. <laughs> I don't know what you're about. <laughs> hey, I, I can still put my canopy on, that's the good thing. <laughs> Go straight down there. Yeah. You're about this far off. So you can crawl down a bit. You're good. I won't hold it up. Well, you might grab my fingers. Keep going down, down, down. Whatever, make a mess. damage it, it only looks like it. <laughs> right, we're going way in. Oh, bang, bang, bangs everywhere. We're going way in. Go right around, right around, right around. 
round the back, give you a scenic tour. How we got to go around to get to the way bridge. It's only a one way. Good scenic tour. Right around the back. She's open country out here. Farmland out that way. Back into the industrial area. I'll get a guarantee we'll be at 2.6 around there. 2.6 empty. Do 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 do. Right, go and get our ticket. Quite a scorcher of a day. Oh, yeah, I'm here. I was right, 2.6. It's always 2.6 empty, eh? So for how HMS we took in. 3,540 kilos, 3 cents a kilo, liking that price, $1,662. Uh, then the second load was uh, pressing steel, we took in uh, 1,340 kilos, 28 cents a kilo. Now we do get a waste levy with the pressing steel, so it brings it down to 24 cents. So we got a grand total of $375.20 for that. Now, grand total in total, $1,338 uh, and six, $1,386.20, as you can see on the screen. Um, then we get tax, the GST levies and all that sort of thing, like you got your waste levy. So yeah, but anyway. If I did take the press in as, uh, like if, if I cut it all down, and I cut it down so it was all in size, it would have been 33 cents, but that's a lot of work. You know, you wouldn't get your three cents extra per hour or anything like that, it's not worth it. So it's best just to go as HMS. Uh, all that extra heavy steel, that was just a bonus pickup. So yeah, but anyway, if you've enjoyed tagging along with me today, uh, don't forget to smash that like button. More people smash the like button, more people get to see the video. So, and also if you wish to subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you get notified when we put a new video out. So until next time, everyone, happy dumpster time, happy scrapping. Definitely the scrapping side of it, of course. And I will see you all in the next one. Cheerio.